Welcome to our latest video Q&A with Derby Telegraph Chief Football Writer Steve Nicholson. Steve, uh, we'll start with news that Derby County have brought in midfielder George Form on loan from West Bromwich Albion until the end of the season. Um, Steve, why have the Rams brought George in? Yeah, it's another midfielder and you know a few fans may look at that and say, oh, why do we need another midfielder? It's a real strong po uh, point of the team. But uh, George Thorne, I understand, uh, is in his cover and competition for John Eustace's role, the holding role in midfield. And we saw against Leicester when John was missing, uh, Derby really kind of were vulnerable in that area of the pitch. And, and John Eustace plays that role particularly well. Uh, so Steve McLaren said today that he, he felt he needed cover in there. And also there's a little added factor in is that John Eustace is on eight bookings. And two more bookings before the beginning of April would lead to a two-match automatic ban. So Steve McLaren's acted quickly and decided to get George Thorne in now. And uh, from all the reports I'm, I'm hearing about George Thorne, he, he, he's 21, uh, a player with great potential. He's on his way back from a, a serious knee injury he suffered in January, playing for West Brom at Everton. Uh, he's had a loan spell at Watford, eight games to play there. That'll help his match fitness. And uh, again, it's another indication that, that Derby are looking at these talented young players from Premier League clubs. You know, George will, will, will join Andre Wisdom, uh, Patrick Bamford, and also they've also had Michael Keane on loan from Manchester United. So, uh, yeah, uh, McLaren today told me he felt it was another uh, good asset for the squad. Uh, while George Form has come in, defender Michael Keane has gone back to Manchester United. Were you surprised that um, Keane's gone back? Not really. Uh, I think the, looking at it, he's uh, had eight games for Derby, five starts. He got into the side because skipper Richard Keogh uh, damaged his mm. knee. And really, he's not been able to break up the central defensive partnership of Keogh and Jake Buxton, mm. which has been really good, really solid. And uh, Michael Keane wants to play football, understandably so. He's a 20-year-old defender. Mm. Manchester United are keen for him to play first team football also but no one can be guaranteed a first team place at Derby and at the moment the team's playing well you know some good players in there and so the, the longer he wasn't in the team he hasn't been starting the last few games the more I felt that when his loan expired after the Oval game this week the more I felt he would head back to Manchester United look at what other options on the table for him I understand uh, there are other clubs interested in taking him on loan. He was at, on loan at Leicester City last season. So he's proved he can play in the Championship. But at the moment, you know, he, he's not quite been uh, good enough uh, to split up the, the buxton Keo partnership. And Derby also has that with Red on the bench as cover for those two as well. So in the end, no, it wasn't no, a, a great surprise. Finally, Steve, is there any Derby County injury news ahead of their next game at Birmingham City? Yeah, a little bit of a surprise really. Uh, I've been up to the training ground today, spoke to Steve McLaren, and Jeff Hendrick has trained. Uh, if you remember, Jeff damaged his ankle uh, in the draw at Blackburn on Saturday. He limped off after 35 minutes. It didn't look good, you know. Uh, earlier in the week we said it wasn't as bad as first fear, but we're still expecting maybe a week or two out. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jeff trained today, he trained well apparently, and according to Steve McLaren, he'll be in the squad for Saturday's game at Birmingham City. And again, with George Thorne arriving on loan, uh, Jeff being available, Johnny Russell came back uh, on, on Tuesday wearing his mask yeah. to protect his fractured cheekbone. Again, the competition is, is really becoming quite fierce, not only to get in the team, but to get in the 18. And so there are bags of options for Steve McLaren there to, to name a very strong 11 and also a very strong bench. And actually what we've been seeing in recent weeks it's players coming off the bench and having a huge impact on games. And as I say, you look at the top of the division, you look at Leicester City, you look at QPR, and they've got really strong squads. But you look at Derby now, and their squad is quite formidable in this division. And Steve McLaren felt that was needed, and it's certainly the case at the moment.